Now we're coming to our milk, Brian. Yeah, put that back up. The problem, my friend, the problem. Uh, it's part of the hand throttle. Don't need them, I know. I used to put them on just on a Friday evening to knock out the hours, just so. Well, You've no hand throttle at all, then? No. Nope. Oh. Use your hand brake in the pit, then. Brian has no hand brake, so we had to wire the or plumb the brakes of the trailer up to act as a hand brake. So he pulls the spool lever and the brakes come on the trailer now. So that she's all going on, Brian. She's just the oak. I don't understand these deer tractors. I'll get the computer to her now and chip her up a wee bit. <laughs> Clock, he said. <laughs> we quarter to nine. <laughs> We're still on under him. <laughs> Classic job. So I put a call out for farmers who put their own grass in, and that went a lot better than I expected, to be honest. The truckload of lights come in, so I told the boys, I do not want to know what's going on, just tell me what days you want me wear. Yeah. And today is one of those days. Because last night I was out getting some John Deere therapy. Where were you? Parting grass for gathering night. Did you have a wee helper with you? Uh, I took Eva with me. How did she get off? Oh, she was loving it. Funny. Eva loves to talk at me or at anyone <laughs> a lot, whether they're listening or not. Yeah. Never said a word. Just absorbed the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Just the whole night just watching. The spectacle? Yes. I says, at the end of it, I says, did you enjoy that? And she says, yeah. She says, it's like been in real life movie. She says. Where was the wee I play the Xbox. <laughs> Hello? You have fun with What? You have all some sort of fun, like fun. I have that as well, Pamela, don't worry. I'm okay. I come prepared. Okay. When I'm with John I think about what does John need today as well as okay. me, so don't oh, don't worry. Mother knows that. No, that's good right, you're in control, yeah. Brian. I got yes. pinked up the other day whenever it was cloudy and now I'll be fine. Oh, uh, we don't get fun. I think it's not like that. Okay, no, that's alright. Just as long as it's just a good thing. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. Jeep's looking tidy, John. I cleaned it earlier today. <laughs> Done a good job. <laughs> Must have been there in the back window, look. <laughs> Do you know something? It was getting late and you were texting me, where's my Jeep? Where's my Jeep? I miss my Jeep. So that's why I thought, I'm just gonna forget about the back window because it's got a big sign on it anyway. Uh, talk me through the losing the footage there. The uh, I was out the other night, current signage with reporters and... and uh, for a foot, for an episode, proper well, episode, yes. Hopefully an episode, we'll see how, how well the chat turns out. It'll be a vlog if it was a rubbish chat, but it's tricky because we weren't doing the normal in-cab thing. Anyway, so after the boys left, it was heading towards dark, and when load left, so I says, right, I got a few nighttime shots here for if I want to close the video out with a sort of a sunset yeah, night, lo night lo lo thing. shots. I'll get those for Brian. You know, because like the crew obviously had it home early. You know, they needed yeah. their sleep, beauty yeah, sleep, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. You know, they couldn't stand on past nine o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> but you had the B crew with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, took with many shots from the open over between loads. Slipped out and got a couple of shots. Now, I'm not saying like around specially, like a. Uh, but some they, they might have made the cut, they might not. And uh, come home that night, and I was just in uh, full steam, there, man, mowing the grass there. Look. I think I backed up that talk on the next day, and whatever happened, I looked at it in the folder and I thought, oh, well, I don't need that. That's a duplication of what's on the network. I'll just delete those old porter files and keep the ones I was looking for with the Varnflex Friday. Yes. But I really hadn't realised that I hadn't backed up that into the porter folder. Oh no. And nothing makes you more what sick. Up in the gimbal? Oh, uh, sick. Yeah. Are these the 
the drowsy ones. The drowsy ones, that's what I'm looking better for. Be. They better not be, because I will be sound asleep. <laughs> Warning. Make may cause drowsiness. Oh, off. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was sort of Don Clades. Look at this oh, man up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to work out who he looked like. It's exactly. Yes. Paul doesn't have a beard, does he? Paul doesn't have a beard. Oh, hi guys, this is my old farm vehicle here, by the way, so it is. <laughs> No, uh, Ash, not bad, hey? Some guys come putting a stick in the back window over there, like, but... <laughs> right, guys, come on, let's get the smoke going, because the sun's out, next thing the whole night will be... He doesn't look very far, like, there'll be tight panties and all on. No self-respecting man can wear skinny jeans, like, uh, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. John still wears bootcut jeans. Who wears bootcut jeans? How long, guys? What do you say? I bet you one of these is going to be cut slices on the way. No, that's like. just John. That's John. John. John cuts the wee slices now and leans over and off. Yeah. I suppose he comes out in the wee brown boots and the brown belt. Yes, no, yes, no, no, I'm mad at all. Oh, he's got it. Wee bum, wee bum bag and all at the front and all. Like, so he does. He's got it all. Yeah. Right. So who's coming to draw sideways today? Which one of you is going to draw the sideways? Ask John about the tent. Well, John has a wee thing about whenever you're out and about and driving. Yeah. As in his 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 uh his employees. He don't like to see boys in tractors because anytime I get on a tractor, John's like, Brian, no. don't, Brian, don't. And I always try and do it where he can't see me getting in. Right. And then I pass him and I see the face ripping it and I just give him the old wave. I give him the sham wave. The <laughs> You're for the lay down then? You're for the lay down. <laughs> As the lay down got brakes. Well, believe it or not, we've jigged up to the trailer, so you have to pull a spool valve when the brakes in the trailer work. Because he's never actually drew much silage before. I haven't drew any. This is a sort of an Aiden voyage for everybody here. Like, yes, so right. let's, let's see how it Baptism goes. Baptism of right. fire. Yeah, like Alistair's first year lifting silage was last year. So yeah, it's all looking good here. So yeah, it's good stuff. Lads, what's your take on the skinny jeans here? I got ridiculed there. Hideous, hideous, the certainly, guys. The boss man gave me some stick there about skinny jeans. Like, well, Alistair there... deserves to get a wee bit of it too, because he's came in his way. The, the stretchy fats as well. Yes, the yes. <laughs> yes. These weren't actually skinnies. It's just because my legs are so big, it just makes it look skinny. Yes. <laughs> I have the same problem. At least we've all better looking boots than you, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the, these are the, these are a city's man's boots. Yeah, no, I've already slagged them about the boots, guys, but they're just hopeless looking. Yeah, your boots are lovely. Oh, yeah. mine's uh, air. Air. Close up now. <laughs> ah, you like those? Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, boys, are we heading for the field? <laughs> get them. Um, you get your wee bus going there, Brian. Uh -huh. Don't turn the radio up too loud in case you can't hear the engine. <laughs> man, Brian, get her going, man. Get her going. See the new aerial and all on the top of the cab for you. Yeah, like Ram. Now his brakes aren't excellent, so don't stand too close to him. A very cautious start. I was looking for something a wee bit more, to be honest with you, but a very cautious start. Yeah. Come on, Brian, get her going. If that's Brian getting her going, I wouldn't like to see him in slow mode. I asked this as hard as you go! I'll so wait the end out of the way, I don't. Ah, yes. It's not good when you're shouting out the window, have I enough space? You're not, you're, you're not giving me a lot of confidence. and no brackets is just the way I like it. Brian has got a layer of grass on him here. You better get cried again here, what do you see? 
tough day at the grass. Plastered me like covered. Absolutely covered me. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a long day. I was wondering what he was waiting for because he was waiting and waiting and I thought he's she's not going to gear there. He was just waiting for me to get into position and then just hit the trigger. <laughs> but uh, I'll be editing this one so I'll be able to get him back in the edit, John. Bert Brian got some grass on him there. I want him to take the doors off so he really gets a good blast of it. You're not, you're not really that bad for grass, are you? Not? I don't, couldn't give two hoots. <laughs> <laughs> I just want it in the pit and cover, that's all I want. Yes. <laughs> I need to clean my camera because one of your crew men. Oh, I, I'm gonna stay in this thing. The ice and the bell to you or the ice and the bell to him? Oh, wait, it's hard to know actually, so it is. He's more enthusiastic than I am. <laughs> he covered me like. Good job, hey, when the buckrick buck -rick man can come out and watch every load. Aye, I like to keep all moving, you know. Once I get over this field, then I'll let them work away. So. It's just not happening quick enough to. That's when you know what's good side is, though, city boy. See that? What? Blowing, that? blowing around the place. Right, blowing in the wind. Perfect. I think we should blog me get the razor out to you, Brian. Oh, You're funny there, haircuts on. Sorry. I did give it a trim myself, like, we. Is that like three weeks ago, sir? What are we looking at, like? I got a cut in August last year. August 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I was quite a trim and truck kind of young, or trim You're, and truck yeah, kind of young guy. Oh, I'm not guarding you, but it's only from about 2015, I've actually looked discover. <laughs> We've done a season out in New Zealand and come back looking like this, so that's... How was your season in New Zealand? Class. Loved Sa it. Silage, or were you working on a farm? Or ah, well, I went over initially and started at silage, and then I got so fed up at it that I started driving a bulldozer then. I had a good, old, I had a good wee season out, so... Did you go back? Ah, yeah. Whereabouts were you? Uh, Greymouth on the South Island, West Coast. Because we're looking to go where's the best place. <laughs> Depending on what you're wanting, because where I was was extremely dairy-based for farms. Yes. And huge outfits or? Uh, well, 2,000 sort of cow would be an average farm, you know. But like, you could go into the Canterbury Plains for machinery, arables, all that kind of jazz, you know. But where we were, there's quite a bit of rain would have fell, so it grows a lot of grass. and that's really wasn't the same infrastructure that they have over here. Like, there's not the same amount of buildings and tanks. <laughs> Blow your mind. One shed, like, milking powder's covered and that's it. Well, what kind of free gear are we getting left with here on this, you know? Speak to John, he's the boss. Ah, yeah, well, that's what I was glad to believe. Oh, Brian's volunteering to cover the back for you. Uh, oh, is he? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be another journey up tomorrow, like, because I can't see us getting it finished tonight now, so I can't. A lot of Fermanagh men still put the grass in, like? Um, I suppose getting less and less every year, but the problem with Fermanagh is we have... We get a lot of rainfall, and we grow... We can, we can grow a lot of grass, but we also get a lot of rainfall. The problem is getting the grass in, everybody wants it done in the one day. So every contractor today is just mayhem. So how do I get a man to come and cut my grass, if you know what I mean? So it's as easy to have your own machinery and go out and do it. So it is. Mine stopped recording. I, I, I just started and stopped there. Mine's dead. Give me the wet weather. Walked in the hall again, give me oh, the yeah. wet weather. <laughs> just because, you know, it's, it's the location and context, just in, case, yeah, yeah. just in case that camera wasn't running. Keith, just before we, we come out here, John and I, Ty, said to John, are you a bit rusty? And John says, no, no, sure. I've been flat out filming. You're the rusty one. So, you know, I don't like to rub salt and wounds. So I'm just saying, proof to the pudding and all, eh? All of, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And do you know something? It was great because I saw the shivers going down his back when he heard this noise.
Ding. <laughs> I just seen him going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, starting in take three. Yeah, oh, very good, very good. Apologies, I don't normally be this bad. Yeah, it's all right. Me. I can let you away with it. But now, at least I got a solid battery now. Now, now I know how I got the sack from grass, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sighs> burning, burning. And here we have the cameraman in a bad position. He's just about to realize that he's going to get wiped out. Here comes the Leyland. And the, the cameraman steps out of the way just in time. That, my friends, is known as a rookie mistake. <laughs> Brian! <laughs> Any word of you? Are you walking up the hill or do you want to laugh? I have that shot you're going for already. Any close up, get get left the hood and put the get the bed. Ugh. See what Brian doesn't realise is I've already done all this heavy lifting. I've been here, done this, framed it up, made it beautiful. I just need a close up of the bed that's racked. Right, okay. Clean racked. I like the way they've uh, set her off on the ground here. Uh, very, very professional. We need to investigate what's actually wrong. Ah, you see now this would be this <laughs> the thing we're looking for here, Brian. The top bat is actually still attached. <laughs> I thought he was joking whenever he said. <laughs> I thought the man was pulling my leg when he said he converted his 10 foot more into an 8 foot more. But actually no. The bed, the top hat, the whole works. It's all right here. Ah, yes. The golden teeth looking out at you. <laughs> There's yes. not to be an hour two foot of yes. bed here. Yes, yes. <laughs> come, Brian. Come and see. Well, I just take a shot for you, sir. Freehand, I do. Yes, yeah, she take it now. And I'll... But I've I'll got the way for us. I genuinely thought he was joking. Right folks, Tommy is filled and let's get buck drinking. Couple of compilation shots to finish this blog out, John. Just a view of every time you forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> and Rusty, she's a lot easier to show a, a shot every time you walk into it. Some, some mint drone shots for Brian just toddles right in the middle. And the best one, I have to say, the best one was whenever the tripod, the harvester man, had to stop, get out, move the tripod. It's randomly abandoned in the middle of the field and carry on. Well, do you know what? <laughs> How did though? That happen, Brian? Do you know what, <coughs> John? Am I alright to film here? Ah, oh, you work away lads, sure I'm up at the yard and then he doesn't tell you that he's back again, like that's a big no-no like. There's the chief. The wife's big camera shy, alright, so just give her a leak. Oh, is this the wife on the... Oh, actually, <laughs> she got the beauty. <laughs> yes. Hey, the way you and the wife there. Surprisingly, the big Leyland was the star of the show. Come down, and, come down and think it was a big fence at the start of the show. Yeah. Said it was a big lady. Is that anything to do with the driver though? Ah, he was making her look good, like, to be fair now. So much so that Brian actually wants to buy one. I'd love one. Alright. It's not so much that, it's it's his face. You look at his face when he's driving her, like, it's just... That's like a 7 8 10. The first 7 8 10 or the second one? Uh, <laughs> you don't talk about the old one. <laughs> the white one? Ah, uh, exactly. 
exactly. Let me to open the door for you, Brian. Yes, please. My chariot awaits. You know you're getting old whenever it's ten past eight and uh, you feel clean knackered. Oh, that was some day though, like some day. Like with the best wall in the world, about two hours ago we had intentions of finishing the vlog with a hill race, uh, one tractor piece. It's not gonna happen. John backed out. <laughs> he bottled it. He bottled it. I'm just trying to tax these boys to say thank you because it's not often that I get to come out and really enjoy it. I, I, don't get me wrong, I love being in, in and around farms, but like a silage day, I, I get the, I get the hype. I get the uh, boys loving it. But today I've, I like to work here, like the crack, the banter, you know, I'm sure Paul, we know Paul, <laughs> Paul's here. <laughs> that was hilarious, like. I hadn't spotted it until he said it. And I was, I was trying <laughs> apparently, to my head, apparently, he looked like. <laughs> apparently these guys were running around calling him Paul for long enough, and he had no idea why they were calling him Paul. <laughs> tunes pumping, you need the tunes pumping. You've got all your life. Let us know, send us a picture of Paul. Yes. Right, that last night, I think I'm going to paint tomorrow. Let's do that. Big right. forehead on me. Well, I asked you. Oh, oh, that does look bad. You have just seen the Keith Golly blog. And yes, it was, it was great to go out and film. It was an absolute smashing day. But if you want to capture the whole day, cross on over to our main site, farmflex.tv, and find out what it was really like. There's a link. Down below, is that right? You'll put the link there, John? The big button at the end. Uh, the, golly, I had to say, it was one of my favourite days following the last year. It was just, we didn't know who we were going to meet. And here it turned up, Keith. Oh, the crack that we had was 90. But listen, guys. Imagine I'm taking the hand out of your trousers. Was... My shoes was the worst. <laughs> my shoes. I can do nothing about my trousers. Like, I wonder would I be proud of these boots today? Like, who knows? Who knows? So guys, YouTube channel here is brought to you by FarmFlex. Everything we do is brought to you by our membership, the, the members that make the wheels turn. So if you're enjoying the blogs, enjoying the videos here, it, YouTube is brought to you by FarmFlex. So take a trial, watch Keith Golly, see what you've been missing. So if you're in any way interested in what we do. John, I'm trying to, I'm trying to come in on top of you here and you just keep talking. And it, you won't be disappointed, trust me, you will not be disappointed. Get on, have a look at it, premium content. Nowhere out there is producing content as high quality as what we are on Farmflix. Get on and check it out, guys.